he was brave enough to stop to talk with Miss Lily. That me. Oh, welcome to Dollywood. Oh, welcome to Dollywood. Chicken pop brush everywhere. Ooh, he's professional. I'm ready for my close up now. Ooh, y'all looking good. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Lily. Everyone, this is Brittany. And Eric. And you watch the on Family Day. We're at. We are at Dollywood for the first time ever, and we are trying out the Harvest Festival menu with the tasting pass. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> John and Bobby, our tour guides have arrived. <laughs> Look at this guy, John and Bobby. What are you here to do today? What's the plan? So we're gonna do the tasting, and then uh, you know, hopefully catching some of those lights tonight. So great time here. You guys want to have fun. Up to these signs right here, there are the harvest festival foods. Okay. Celebration. So that's why you know where everything is. Yeah. So if you see one of these signs, then the stuff on there is close by. Yeah, because if you look over there, you see the same thing. So over here, okay, all right. That's so that's going to be over towards the, uh, that's going to be yeah. in that building yeah, right, right, right there, there, right? Okay. All right. Pretty easy to find. Look at these two. Just chatting away. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> okay so before we get into it just a little bit of an explanation the harvest festival has a tasting pass so they have new harvest festival menus and you buy the pass for 34.99 or you get three dollars off if you have a gold pass and as a result you get five of those menu items to try with the pass all right that's it so over here they have the pulled pork sandwich the chicken and smoked sausage gumbo, and the harvest baked beans from Bushes. Mmm, yeah. looking good. Here's those beans Brittany got. They got the Bushes baked beans in them. So there's um, pork belly, pork belly, peppers and onions. Peppers and onions in it. Looking good. And then again, I've already showed you this a thousand times, but here's the barbecue <laughs> with the coleslaw, pumpkin infused. Supposedly, looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh very often. God. So I, I so often. I smashed I this often. pork, this uh, <laughs> sandwich here, and then I ended up finishing off the rest of Brittany's. She wasn't too much of a fan. Okay, so the beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're doing a review of the food. <laughs> the beans. Eric loved them. They have a lot of onions and peppers. It's like I don't know. Yeah, it's the my pork thing. belly. I loved it, and then John told me the bellies like. It says in the name, duh. Yeah. And that kid's can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> All right. Eric said he could taste pumpkin. I never found it. Maybe because it has a lot of coleslaw on there. But I do like the sandwich. But I wish mine had a little pumpkin. He had a bunch. He had it all. He was behind me. He gave all mine to him. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> We're getting school today. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about Dollywood, again, it's our first time, but it is themed to the tens, man. Uh, they, uh, you know, Kings Island, we talked about it, like the interest of Kings Island being grand, you know, but man, the, it's just all over the place here. It's uh, quite impressive. It makes it pretty evident why they were voted number one theme park in America, because it's just around every corner. 
Look at this guy just came around the corner. Butternut squash. Butternut squash with mac and cheese? Yes, sir. It has Alfredo sauce in it. Um, it's new for harvest this year. Okay. We also have our And that's part, of, that's part of the... the yes, sir. The, okay. And our pumpkin flatbread pizza is part of that also. So we got this souvenir cup. It's $16.99, but today you get free refills. And since we're going to be here during the day and at night, and the girls will be with us, I thought this would be well worth the money at the end of the day. So, What is this? It's uh, mac and cheese with butternut sco uh, scotch. Scotch? Not scotch. Squash. So what do you think? Butternut squash. It's like a mixture of a sweet potato and something else that I can't replace. You've tried it, let me know what it is that I'm thinking <laughs> Try to think of. So check this out. It is the pumpkin and sausage flatbread. Are those pumpkin seeds? Uh, not for certain. Absolutely. Yep, they're seeds, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get this in. So, in preparation of taking off to the next location, we realized that John and Bobby were no longer with us. And therefore, we have no idea where we're going or what to do. Here's a pretty clear verdict on the mac and cheese versus the flatbread. All right, we're leaving. Thanks, John. We're just lost, <laughs> meandering around. I think I'm in the bathroom. We may never make it out of here. John, we don't know where the heck we're going. <laughs> We've been walking around aimlessly ever since you left us, but we don't know where we're going. I thought we, thought we ditched it. I know. <laughs> 20 minutes ago, I was in the corner crying in the fetal position because I didn't know where I was going. So here they have the smoked andoli sausage mac and cheese, the three bean pumpkin chili. Here's that chili. Three Got bean. the cornbread, three bean chili. Pumpkin. pumpkin chili. Three bean pumpkin chili. And it's also bushes as well. It's like more spice. It tastes like sausage. Is there sausage in there? I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I, I'm, at this point, I'm pretty accustomed to what the pumpkin tastes like, you know, to recognize it, separating that from what it, you know, what the mm -hmm. actual dish would taste like. But I don't know, man. I'm just not feeling it. Mm -hmm anything that's going on in this chili. But the uh, the chili there at Miss Lillian's, I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't the best. Oh my God, I just talked crap about her chili right in front of her, look. Oh my gosh, hey look, she's got feathers on his microphone. It must be a chicken mic. It is a chicken mic. Hey, hello, honey, honey, oh. This is like a field of the so everybody said that we had to come and see you. When we said we was coming to Dollywood, they said make sure you come and check out Miss Lillian. Now where is everybody? So here's Miss Lillian's card. I'll take it back. Your chili was great, Miss Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you gonna get? I'm getting sweet potato. Sweet potato poutine. Yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about a pork pig belly though. Yeah. I'm gonna be thinking about Nice. These look All right, so the good. sweet potato poutine here. Uh, they got the bacon, the white. I think it's white. Is it white cheddar? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. These are amazing. This, I've never had a sweet potato fry, firstly. There's a perfect amount of sweetness, but that cheese mellows it Offsets down. It, yeah. Yeah. And then the bacon is just finishes it off. Icing baby. on the cake. Yep. This is. Up there, tie, I think, with the flatbread for me. This is better than a flatbread in my book. This duck is as bad of a beggar as Iggy is. Look, that's what Iggy does too. When you know that she's begging. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I can't do any more regular food. You're gonna have to do the fry. That's what you wanted. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. All right, what'd you end up with? We have the apple dumpling and the pumpkin pie punch.
Yeah, I thought for sure we would just do savory, but I just can't fit anything else. No, yeah. Apple? No, pumpkin pie punch. It confused me because there's apples on top of it. Yeah. Tastes like you're drinking a pumpkin pie. So this is the apple dumpling yeah. with some uh, vanilla ice cream, I guess. I bet you when we look at the list, we're going to be very disappointed that this is what was close. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we were just like, um, we need to spend it. All right. The inside of it. Mm, it looks it's like so a bigger flaky. fried apple pie. This train is loud, man. What do you think? Feed me. Feed you. Yeah. It's, it's good. There's a lot of bread to other stuff ratio. So I was thinking about um, bread to other stuff. I was thinking about when we ate it. What was that place? The bakery in Sierra. Oh, it was an ice cream on there too. Wildflower. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their fried apple pie was amazing. That's really good. And it, it it was better than this one, but this is. Good to add in, you know. Mm -hmm. We are we got burnout on savory. There's yeah, no can't way. Do anymore. I can't do and we didn't eat all of it of no. everything. Mm -mm. Hey guys, <laughs> we all got this apple or this uh, pumpkin punch, don't we? <laughs> all right. Last but not least, what is this now? This is the smoked brat. The smoked brat. The thing I said don't get because I can't. I don't have any more room. The autumn apple palmer. I'm kind of looking forward to that. This it'll be hard to beat this one. All right. So what did you think about this you to finish say it that off? This was good. Yeah, I liked it. I just felt yeah. like that tastes like water with a hint well, of Well, I, I like think that. what it is though is that that is so strong. The the pumpkin drink is so strong that it does taste a little bit watered down, but it's a good drink. Um, I think if you had the pass though. I tell you, it tastes like a. a, a a Jolly Rancher. This is good. I think it's got the beets on top of it. They have the. We're totally guessing. Have some beets. peppers and uh, potatoes over there, and I, and I know we didn't eat much of it, man. But I, I took a bite of it. I I can't do anymore. Like I'm tapped out. Here's the thing. Eric, said he has a gold pass. It was thirty one nine nine. He got five tastings. Uh huh. One tasting. This is one. That's one. You get five. Right this is there. another. And but so. But like, think of the bigger ones that we had. Yeah. You just need one of those. Yeah, and you could. two people, if you're three. You, you can feed, three. yeah, if, if you, and you have one kid, two kids that don't eat, you know, like, one of these things is good. Two of them would be too much for, like, yeah. three people, I think. Perfect. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for us here at Dollywood doing the Harvest Festival menu. It's our first time here, so it was really cool. Um, we have tonight to look forward to we'll we're have gonna the bring, girls tonight we're gonna we'll bring the girls tonight and the, or early morning yeah they're going to uh they're gonna experience dollywood for their first time too so make sure to check that out and as always guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye. if you made it this far like if you liked it comment if you're a fan subscribe if you're feeling it if not that's okay too wow